Alright, yo, what's up, peeps? Uh, so I haven't actually done one of these types of videos in months and months, but I've been reading a lot of the comments lately, and I've seen a lot of people complaining about how it's just pure raiding. I know I've been trying to mix it up lately with a bit of hatching and a bit of farming, but I thought that I might just go all out hatching in this video. As you can see, we have... This is an overflow fridge, so this isn't actually the main fridge we have for, for uh, like, dinos or such. But I actually have a fridge full of dinos like we got megalosauruses stegos trikes uh, i don't know their mutations the stats are you know you heard the stats enough but i actually want to kind of hatch these dinos quite a few of them and see how it goes uh so yeah this is actually going to be a mega hatching spree in this video so yeah raids are hard to find by the way like i scout for hours and i find nothing it's quite hard so i appreciate the daily upload still Alright, so a lot of the dinos are starting to hatch now. There's the first trike. Let's get the imprint on this baby. I'm pretty sure the rest of them are actually starting to hatch. What are the stats on this thing? Uh, 6.45 uh, HP. This one actually got the average stam we have. I thought our stam line was actually 50-50, uh, but apparently not. Uh, maybe there's a new type of line. I don't know. I'll compare it to the rest of them, but... Still, that's pretty weird, I guess. Uh, I wonder how long until the rest are hatched. Uh, stuck. Uh, this one has 1 minute 20, 1 minute 19, 1 minute 11, and 1 minute 20. Okay. Alright, the next set of trike eggs should be hatching any second now. Uh, there's one. Do we get twins out of that? No, it's just a single. Oh, I accidentally picked up that egg. Rip. I'll drop that one in a second, I guess. Uh, I picked up that one by accident as well. Nice. Alright, so uh, this trike is as followed. Uh, 6.45. That one got the good stam. I'm kind of looking for uh, males right now. Just so I've got like a few breeder pairs in my upload. Uh, but let's fully check out this thing's stats. Um, 700. Yeah, okay. This one actually got the best stat line we possibly could have had. Uh, I mean, it got the color too. We kind of want more color mutations with the dinos. Sadly, this one got terrible stam. It seems the males always get the, the bad stam. I mean, that one got good stam, but I guess pretty average. Um, so let's cry put this baby up and get the rest flowing, I guess. Alright. Oh, another baby. Imprint. And imprint. Okay. So, oh, this one got a weird color. I just imprinted them. What do you mean? Uh, this one's uh, stats. Okay, this one actually got the terrible stam. Is this male or female? That one's female. Okay, and this one's male. This one get the. Uh, he got the middle stam. I don't understand. This one got really high weight for some reason. Six twenty. What one did this get? Six oh five. I don't think our weight is, our weight mutations actually um, in place yet. I think it's a, a large number of stats it could be. But overall, um, pretty good dinos. I'm going to actually 100% imprint all these trikes. We've got a big raid up coming in the future. And I want to make sure I've got as many trikes as I can for heavy soaking. Uh, my tribe are going to work on the dinos that are going to be used for uh, uh, tech turret soaking. But I'm just going to power out through the trikes and get as many of these done. But yeah, these are actually pretty cool. I mean, I wish we had more variety to the color. Why is this thing still going off? Oh my god. Uh, somehow I've done some insane skills and actually managed to open up my cryo fridge. But uh, here's the actual dinos that I've got so far. Not many. A lot of them are in my upload. I've got, a, uh, you know, some random stuff, a mana, and a trike. Uh, but my babies folder, this is actually going to start getting full as the video goes on. Because obviously I'm going to start raising these. But here's so far what we've got. Obviously I've got these empty cryopods to get the rest. But uh, I think next I'm actually going to hatch a bunch of Ankies. I haven't actually got my own personal Ankies yet. But I guess we'll see. Alright, so here are the rest of my babies I just went and got from uh, the other thri at the fridge where all the other babies have been stored. Currently I've got uh, a Megalosaurus, I've got a bunch of Carbos that I don't even think I imprinted because I fell asleep uh, mid-imprint. Uh, I got a few Stegos, obviously some more Turtles, a few Velenos, which is uh, very nice. I do need to do those. These are quite actually, these are terrible HP, I think. I'm not too sure, though. They might be good. I've got two Ankies in there, but yet again, I have got quite a few more stuff to do. So let's get right into it. All right, so my next set of hatching is pretty random, but I've actually got three uh, Stego eggs. Our Stego line is pretty bad, as most of you have pretty caught on to. But yeah, I have three Stego eggs, and I've actually got two, uh, no, yeah, two Megalosaurus eggs. I'm kind of hoping the twins out of Megalosauruses. But uh, at the same time, I'm just hoping for some good mutations. Like, I don't think our Megalosauruses have many good mutations in color-wise. 
and color is kind of what I'm going for right now because our Megalosaurus is kind of, kind of like a fixed stat line, I'm pretty sure. Our Stegos are pretty bad. I think they pop it around 8.9 or 8.7, which is actually trash when you think about it. But I'm just hoping for some good colors because <laughs> colors win raids. True. Smart. Blur smart. All right, one of the Stegos is done. This one's actually about to hatch, so we're nearly there. Uh, I hope... Uh, like a, a green tech stego would be nice. I mean, red and pink. Uh, we just got rendered pink, I suppose. Oh, this one actually got greener legs. Uh, 273, 273. Let me imprint these babies. Imprint, imprint. Get a little, you know, backspace for you guys. Pretty sexy. Um, tech stegos just always look good, to be honest, in my opinion. There's not a time where they don't. I'm just kind of, you know. Alright, so the dinos have actually hatched. I got the imprint on these things. Um, we have two techs that goes. This one starts at 8.7k HP. Probably go to around near 10k with full imprint. Our stegos are actually terrible, to be honest. Kind of sad. Um, nice colours, though. Let me get a little backspace in there. It's got, like, light green on the legs. Uh, purple on his... I don't even know. Uh, red underbelly. A little bit of uh, purple on top. We seem to have purple on every mutation of dinos. It's a bit over the top. Now, this one's a little bit better, in my opinion. It's got dark green on the legs. Uh, red underbelly. Everything has purple. Why? Give me something better. Why can't I access this one's inventory? Yeah, 8.7k again. Okay. These uh, stegos are pretty average. I mean, nothing special. They're actually pretty bad. We could use a new stego line. Uh, but I guess, how long has this stego got? This one has four minutes. This Meglo. Oh, the Meglo's about to hatch. Dan's still got another two minutes on it. Uh, is it just going to stay zero, zero? Nice. Oh, no, it's done. Okay. Uh, eh, imprint. Nice. Okay. Uh, what's your stats like? 9.2k HP, 455 melee. Now, I'm presuming that is good. That does sound pretty good on a Meglo. 520 weight. Um... I'm not too sure. I'd have to ask someone. Le leave a comment down below if these are good stats. The co I mean, the color's pretty doo-doo, but at the same time, it's a Meglo. Alright, this egg's about to hatch too. Hopefully it has something good in it. Maybe? Please? Color? Please? Ooh, okay. Right, we actually got super lucky. Holy, these ones have colors. Uh, let me get imprint on these babies. Damn, I don't actually think we have these types of Meglo colors. I mean, we probably do. We have pink everything. But, um... Damn, they have a green underbelly. Let me backspace that to get a better look. They have a green underbelly, uh, like, yellow and lime green legs. Uh, bottom of their feet, I mean, sorry. Pink everything as usual. Do these have the same stats? Um, 9.2k. Where are the other ones? 9.25. This one's actually got, like, 0.3 worse health. Uh, doesn't really matter. 455 melee, 455.1. I mean, health's not an issue because it's legit 0.3 less. But I'm actually so shocked by the colours. Holy, these things are insane. I'm actually really happy about those. Damn. Alright, 10 seconds until this trike hatches. It actually has uh, a secondary breeder. This one has in its line. So I'm not too sure if the stats are going to be good or not. I'm kind of hoping they are. But uh, we'll give it a go. Seems like one of my tribe members actually throwing that, trying to throw out all the dinos. It's pretty packed outside. Let me just backspace real quick for a bit better. Uh, why always me? We always get the bad stegos, it seems to be. It's just the terrible stats again. Like, we need a new stego line. If anyone's willing to trade my trike line for their stego line, uh, much appreciated. Because this one seem, could seem to use a bit of improvement, to be honest. Alright, go add a little bit more to the fridge. Babies, I've got a lot of hatching to do. Holy. Also, um, in the fridge next to me, we actually have a fridge full of all the, the dinos that we've gotten from, like, people's raids and such that I've kept. Uh, I know other YouTubers, like, I'm pretty sure, I think Shane might have done one. Maybe Hod, I'm not too sure. I might be wrong. Uh, but uh, they do like sh showcasing enemy dinos they've gotten for raids and stats and such. But if anyone would like to see a video like that, leave a comment in the description because we've got loads of them that I could show. Alright, we've actually got quite a few dinos to hatch this time. We've got a few more trikes. We actually have an Anki to hatch. Uh, and we have, I think those are three trikes, two stegos and an Anki. 
So a pretty good combination this time. I'm actually hoping for um, good melee on the Yankee. I'm not sure what our melee is, but I think it's quite low. I'm pretty sure a lot of dinos, except for our Megalos and our Trikes, are actually pretty bad mutations. I still want a Thylacolio line. But yeah, please be good. All right, 10 seconds left on this Trike eggs. The other ones are legit about to hatch as well. Five seconds on that. I'm probably going to have to pick up the Stego eggs because they're probably just going to get picked up by me anyway. Put uh, uh, two pink ones again. Oh, that one. I don't think that one's actually blue. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm stuck. Uh, let me out. Eee. All right. Uh, imprint. Oh, I picked up the egg. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's have a little look at the stats. Are they just going to be same line? Yeah, it's trikes. I might as well not show off the trikes as much anymore. Trikes are pretty much... I'm pretty sure the trikes have a fixed stat. Uh, 203. The level's a bit inconsistent, though. 203, 240, 228, like... Uh, yeah, the stats are fixed. Uh, well, no, the health HP is fixed. It's a shame we can't get any higher. And uh, maybe we can if we're lucky enough. But that's pretty done. I guess now it's just up to the Stegos and the... An actually, the Anki wouldn't hatch because it's actually too hot. So we've got some more donors to hatch. I'm pretty sure I've got some manners as well out back. But, yes, let's give it a go. Alright, I've actually brought in two more stegos that I'm hatching. Uh, I just want to clarify this. Actually, I know manners. They don't hatch from eggs. They're actually, like, you know, boom boom manners. But, uh, this is just, this is fun. So the stego, I'm pretty, I think our stegos actually have a set color. Can, can you not? I'm pretty sure our stegos actually have uh, set colors. Because they just come out of the same. Same HP, same stam, same weight. I think our stego line is actually pretty easy set, to be honest. It's okay. Oh, okay, we actually got uh, twins out of this one. Imprint. Imprint. This one has a little bit different colors. Not the typical red. I probably should have him uh, cryopoded this. Uh, it looks like it just has the, the typical green legs. Uh, and pur purple mid like inside the cage. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. But eight points, uh, yeah, I'll... The lines are pretty fixed. I could hatch some enemy uh, dinos, but we'll save that for another video, I guess. We've still got two more stegos, though, and my mana gum is actually going to be popping out uh, in a second, so I guess I can show that off, too. I don't know what our lines are, but I guess we'll see. All right, so the mana baby hatched. Uh, I've actually got it on my inventory, so I can show off the stats in a second. Oh, there's two stegos? Okay. Um, why is this one moving? Stop moving. You're annoying. Uh, actually terrible stats though, as usual. Oh, this one. Ah, I'm getting stuck in a sandwich. That one's level 204. Why is that one so low? Holy. Uh, stats, I guess. But, uh, here's the baby. If you want in, you might want to cover your eyes for this part because the stats are pretty tragic. That's not the mana. Here it is. Ugh, 930 stam on hatch. I know you could get like a thousand more. I'm pretty sure one of the best lines on Small Tribes now is like 1.9 or 2k. Ugh, but that is pretty tragic. I mean, the weight's pretty good, I guess. The health's pretty good, but the, the stab ugh, makes me want to vomit. Uh, but yeah, we're nearly there. Nearly done. I think we've got a few more dinos to hatch and then we're over with. And then I'll uh, recap and show off all the di enemy dinos that are most likely hatch in the coming videos. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into the next video, I guess. Alright, so on that note, I think I'm going to end the video off here. I just want to say a big thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, it's pretty interesting, I guess. I haven't actually done something like this in a while, where it's just, you know, uh, hatching. It's been a good, probably over half a year now. So, I go, I go, like, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now the pain is going to be raising all these babies, which is going to take a while. But yeah, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, you have joined my videos in the past. Like I said, at the beginning and end of every video. I'm trying to hit 50k by the start of July, which leaves us pretty much exactly a month now. It is currently uh, the 1st of June. Uh, it's a pretty big goal, I know, but if we can do it, uh, it will be so much appreciated. I might host a PvP event that's not decided yet. It might have a cash prize. As well as that, um, I will 100% uh, do a giveaway from my Discord. I always do this at a big milestone. If you're new to the channel or, you know, you've been here for a while, you know I always do giveaways for big milestones. As well as that, all my social media is linked in the description. My Twitch, which I'm going to start live streaming on daily in the coming weeks, uh, is linked in the description as well as my Instagram. You want to see what I look like. And my Twitter, so be sure to check those out. As well as that, my PS4 and Xbox server will most 
most likely be wiping in the coming weeks. Uh, my admin, Astro, has been doing lots of polls to figure out what you guys want and what's best for the service. Be sure to check them out in my Discord. But yeah, uh, that being said, I, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, there'll be another raiding video tomorrow. Me and Creek actually scouted some tech base, which is probably going to have to be hit offline. Uh, we're not too sure. It would be better online, but you know what people are like nowadays. They popcorn or they upload. But yeah, um, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you stuck around to the end, also comment popcorn, because that's what I'm going to be eating in about five seconds. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.